Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. Youth League, two men, nine rounds down. We've passed the halfway mark. We are officially, officially in the run of the finals. That's all we're talking about now, the finals. That's, That's it. it, run of the finals. Um, youth League, two men, and there's some teams uh, just uh, jockeying for position, can we say? Love what's happening out of Mornington. Yeah. Um, well, Western they're not jockeying for position. They're well, they're at the just, bloody, they're at the home post, they're mate. The they're there. Um, Western Port 83 defeated Mildura 73. Kasika Mapoda had 15 points, 19 rebounds for Western Port. Got them across the line. Cam Kelly had a ripper uh, for the Heat. Mm. Just a lazy 38 points, 10 rebounds, 2 blocks. Cam, welcome hey, to the party. Yeah. Hey, have we mentioned Cam before on um, the show? If we have, it's not often. So... Welcome to the party, Welcome young to the man. Party and let's uh, let's keep that sort of production nice, up. Nice, like it. We'd love to see it. Waterbook seventy eight. I'll keep telling you at home. They're yep, a tough the unit to beat. Uh, Maccabi fifty three. Uh, Oliver Bidmade fourteen and fourteen for the Bull. Adan Shamas had fifteen for Maccabi. Run of the mill. Bull yep. very good at home. Yep. Move right along. Mm -hmm. Nothing to see there, but plenty to see here. And I saw it. Chelsea, 70, went down to Craigieburn, 81. Sheldon Malcolm, two first names, had 17 points for Craigieburn. Aaron Frost had 19 points and 14 it rebounds for Chelsea. A cold. Oh. Hey, now listen, I saw this game. Stole it. I saw this game, Beth. Yeah. Because we've been talking about Chelsea a fair bit lately, yes, right? Yes, we have been doing it today. And Chelsea made this 11-point margin look a little bit better down the stretch. Okay. First half, they're, they're just out of Kilda. Can I be honest? Yeah, oh, please You do. prefer me to be honest? Yeah. They just it's better like, someone that's seen it than us just kind of, yeah. if we haven't seen a game, kind I, of saying stuff. I did I'd see rather... it. They just look totally out of sync with each other. Mm. Now, we know that Little Miss isn't playing, and it's a massive hole. Was he there on the bench? In... I'm sure I saw Little Miss there hanging around, yeah. But um, uh, I don't think they've won a game since, have they? No. no. Since Little Miss went down? No. They've won a game since. 0-4, 0-5 or something? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they made this margin look closer than what it really was. Mm. Um, because Craigie Byrne wrapped this one up nice and early. They just... They look a shell of their former selves. Can yeah. I say that? Yeah. It's where it's at. Even the tattooed one at four years of age. Mm. Paddle Pop King, Jesse Aitchison, just... They're not there at the moment. I'm afraid to not say. missing that shame. piece of the puzzle, unfortunately. Yeah. Melton 61 went down to Pakenham 73. Lee Belton, who's proven to be a very good player for yeah. Pakenham. Uh, 23 and 10, having a great season. Panesh uh, Desmardi had 18 for Melton. Nice win. Packy, up and about, Beth. Yeah, yeah. I think we... I think, did we all go for them when we tipped them, I think? We did, yeah, absolutely. Yep, we did, <laughs> definitely. I them, yeah, yes. I tipped them, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, they are the real deal. They're above 500 right now, and they are in that race for the finals. Yeah, I don't know how many um, over the past couple of years the newbies to the comps have ever kind of made finals in their their first year. It's not really a um, common and known yeah. um, thing like we've had. Um, Warren Carby, I, Mildura, Warren and, D1 women made grand final in 2007 in their first. Year. I mean, in youthies, in youthies, <laughs> oh, there's right, not. Okay. Um, you Not kind of start I'm... off with a real young group and they're all kind of new to it and all that. And Not like bragging just... or anything. Oh, of course not. You never do. <laughs> um, but Packenham have just come in and, gee, they're... they're... Going very nicely. Maccabi 84 defeated Mildura 73. Great bounce back, Maccabi. Lost in Warrnambool the night before. They must mm. have enjoyed that road trip back because they got up the next day. Uh, Andrew Sharp had 24 and 9 for Maccabi. Jay Madigan, uh, Jimmy's boy, mm. had 15 for Mildura. So Mildura dropped two on the weekend. Maccabi split it. Great bounce back. Yeah, look, I think. Um... Pinkus and the crew. I think it was an expected win for Maccabi. Expected? Um, yeah, yeah, well, they're coming up against the Mildura side who hasn't. Won a game. They've so come, Mildura's no good. They've come down. They've fallen short to Western Port, which is no mean feat. But um, having to come against Maccabi also on the backup, so mm. it's pretty fair back to backs. Okay, and fair I, enough. I think Maccabi at home should have been too strong, and they were. All right, fair enough. I would have thought Casey at home would have been yeah, uh, right absolutely. up there against yep. Crow Bay, but they weren't. Seventy-two to the Stingers, eighty-one. Cohen Blythe, twenty-three for the Stingers. Agoth AM, twenty-two for the Stingers. And good to see a couple of other names in there. Yeah, absolutely. Rather than O'Leary and Icla, yep. so um, good signs. I don't, I don't think he played. Eichler? Yeah. O'Leary played, though. Yeah, I don't think Eichler played. Um, great signs for Cryo Bay. Uh, Nathan Dodgson had 25 and 14 for Casey. Good win, Stingers. Yeah, they need to kind of um, give some help to Chelsea. They win without um, Eichler if he didn't play. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. 
Yeah, mate. So what are you saying, Chelsea? Go and watch uh, how Cryo do it without yeah. their star. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Craigie Burn 103 defeated Warnable 60. Or maybe Warnable and Bloody Maccabi drove back together from Saturday night. Yeah. Both up in Melbourne yeah, on maybe. Sunday. Uh, uh, different results though. It's very different. Forty <laughs> point win to Craigie Burn. Jaco Flynn had fifteen points. Sammy Fennec, the right. Fennecker, had Sammy. twenty eight and seventeen for Craigie Burn. They get up by forty. That's a smash and grab. That is. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And. Um, did anyone really see a 40 point margin coming? No. I think we sort of tipped Craigie Burn, but not, not, by, by, not, not, much, no. not by 40. Not by 40. Not by 40 at all. Give us the ladder, Steve O, in Youth League 2 Men. Yeah, while sure. you're there. Morning Are we missing. Who? Didn't we not say. Oh, that sorry. Yeah, we've sort of missed the, the, the key. The key Look, team we're not going to talk about it much, obviously, with the, the result, but we might as well mention it. I feel like an absolute idiot for forgetting this That's because normal. it is the biggest result of the weekend for mine because this team is starting to slap the others down the sides. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mornington 84 defeated Melton 42. Now, Steve, that's a 42 point win. That is indeed a 42 point win. Yeah, and, they and, demolished and them. That's double. They double demolished score. them. Destroyed, demolished. I think. Half time, I think. What did I? What was I uh, mentioned to say? Twelve. Was that twelve? Fifty to twelve in half time. The fifty. This game was fifty to twelve. Mm. Something wow. to twelve. Yeah, it was. It was not pretty. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Zach Smith. Part of the Smith family down there. I'm Smith? pretty sure, well. I'm pretty sure we've pronounced their yeah. name right. Um, Zach had twenty points and thirteen rebounds. He's just starting to wind up. Notice how we've just hit the second half of the season. Yep. Yeah. Zach's just mm -hmm. started to wind up. That's it. Wait he, till you see. He knows it's all about the finals. He That's knows it. it's about August. He's not going to get himself uh, up and about before that. Well, do you think they're starting to maybe rewind back to finals last year? Oh, they're up and, and about. They're up and about. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jake Cameron, uh, two first names, had 10 points for Melton. Uh, well done, Breakers. They're yeah. the team to beat. As, as we're about to see from That's the right. ladder, Steve. Speaking of that, Mornington are 9 and 0. Coasting. Carayo, Officially coasting. Carrillo Bay 9 and 4. And Casey 8 and 4. Western Port 6 and 4. Carrillo is the real deal. Mm. They're doing very well. Craigieburn and Pakenham are 6 and 5. I like what Packy's doing, Steve. -O. Melton 5 and 6. Lost a couple on the weekend, I think. Have I got that right? Yes. Warrnambool 4 and 6. Chelsea four and seven, Maccabi two and eight, Mildura yet to score 0 and 11. Warnable good at home, ordinary on the road. Uh, Chelsea just downright ordinary without little miss. Yep. Is that fair enough? Yep. Okay, here we go. Round 10. Take us through it, Beth. Ooh. I'll give you some winners. Packenham versus Western. Get on Packenham. Ooh. To maybe go down in a close one to Western Port. <laughs> <laughs> Western Port. Yeah, I'm with uh, Western Port. Right. Chelsea against Maccabi. Now, Chelsea. Here's your chance. Because yeah. Maccabi are good, but they're not great. They're yes. two and eight on the season. Yep. Chelsea's lost their last what, Steve? Uh, Did you say the five? Last five, I think. It's four, at least four, if not five. Gulls, if you don't get this, your season's done. Insane it's close to being done now, but if you don't get this, it's over. Maccabi did put 84 points on the board against Mildura. If Chelsea don't get this, it's over. They're yep. at home. They're on their home deck. Uh, can I just send a special message to Chelsea, by the way? Yes, from last, week, from last weekend. They had the fundraiser for... Um, uh, what Alana, was it and, Alana Madeline and Madeline Foundation. I think it's yep. the fourth year they've done that, yeah, all decked out in purple. Yep. Bloody great effort, the girls. Yeah, it was a right. good night. I was down there. Lots and lots of people. Lots of purple. Lots of money raised. People running around selling everything from purple bloody balloons to purple cupcakes. Oh, um, wouldn't mind a cupcake. No, they were okay. no, they were very nice. No, no, no. We polished them off. Um, Chelsea. Well done, you're a bunch of superstars. Yep. Great effort. Well done. Having said that, I'm going to stick with you. I don't know why, because you've done nothing to uh, reinforce my confidence, but yep. I'm going to go with you for one more week. Chelsea to win. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, it's weird. It's, I'm We're all three. Chelsea yeah. as well, yeah. Maccabi up yours. Oh, not up yours, but... Oh, three of us have gone it. against them. <laughs> Jeez, you can't be more uh, profound <laughs> than that. Craigie Burn Mornington, Beth. Oh, Mornington. Yeah, I think Craigie Burn will um, get within 20. I think Craigie Burn are coming off a 40 point win. Uh, Craigie Burn will get within 20. Yeah. No. Craigie Burn are coming off a 40 point win, folks. But don't let that misguide you. I think Mornington are clearly a class above. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Warnable Carrillo. Warnable are very good at home. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't know they can beat Cryo though. Yeah, no, I'm going Cryo. On the Stingers. Road. I'm going Cryo. I think it's going to be very close though, Steve. Mm -hmm. Yep, I don't doubt that. Okay, Mildura Melton. 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 Yeah, I'll last back. last time Melton beat Mildura in Mildura. I oh, know maybe they lost that game, but they were out exposing their tattoos later that night. You remember? I do remember um, my story. And can we time. just refrain from doing that this time around? Because sure. the tattoos aren't in a pleasant viewing position. Uh, the bread life tattoos, that is. Yes. Um, who are you going for, Mildura or Melton? Melton. Bounce back. Steve? Yep, thoroughbreds. Um, yeah, I think Melton will win that. <laughs> Mildura is still looking for their first win. And Maccabi, Casey. Surely Casey bounce Casey back. Casey bounce yeah. back. Yes. It's easy. Yeah. Hard margin. Uh, 15. Wow, okay, all right, fair enough. Youth League 2 men, I know we love this competition. Get out there and support your teams this week. We're officially on the road to the finals, and we'll be back to Enjoy. wrap up round 10 next week on Big V TV.